Hi folks, welcome to Tully River Quail. It is February and we're heading out for looking for sub-zero, sub-freezing temperatures, but we have some quail babies. Um, so we have offered these babies for sale for local pickup. And the one consideration you have to have when selling quail babies in February is how to transport them home safely. So let me go over with you some of the things that we do to help people get their chicks home. So I have a couple proof of concept things here. Um, let me just go over a couple little things. This is a click heat. There's multiple different kinds, but when you push this button, see if I can do it quickly. That causes a chemical reaction. There you go. Now that'll put off 95 degree heat. And if you can put that in a small cooler under some towels or there, then that's enough for a couple little quail babies to stay warm at least for a short distance. So I have this cooler here. Now I just put these in here so the temperature of the whole cooler is only at 80. But so that's 95. All right? So a couple of those in there would probably okay. Now here's the other thing that we do. The smaller the container, the better. So a lot of people have inverters in their car that can run a heating pad. So if they have a heating pad, you can package that in a box with some foam. Use a, and there we are at around 70 degrees. So with a couple click heats in here, sorry, that feels pretty warm in there. So what I've done is I cut, a, cut some little holes just for air. I have foam, I have this heating pad, it would be nice to have two, but that insulated will get them home within an hour or two. Let's just see what the temperature of this blanket is. I don't know why that's showing 50. That's way more than that. Anyway, so that's what we do. Package them up, put them in a separate box, and that'll get them home safely within an hour. So at least that's the proof of concept. And uh, if you have any other ideas, please leave us a message. I know it's tough. A lot of people want to get their quail babies ready for March so that they have laying birds in the beginning of March so the busy season, chick season comes around, they have a head start. So just give you a little quick look at our quail cage, jumbo quail cages we make. Um, this is the single cage, but we also have a divider and a double feeder version. There's our winter watering tube plus a regular PVC feeder water. And I have a guy coming over here to pick up some supplies. So that's Telly River Quail, over and out. Quail are the new chickens. <laughs> Let's hope there's still some chickens around. Stay free. Love you.